In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what can I write about in my response journal? There are many different ways we can respond to our books and share our thinking. So far this year, you have been buzzing with other students about your reading. Today, I want to teach you to choose from a list of ideas, use a letter format, and follow the guidelines when you write a letter in your reading response journal or notebook. These letters can be written in section two of the notebook or back and forth between teacher and student through sharing Google Docs. I am going to ask you to begin putting your thinking on paper each week. We will be writing letters back and forth, either handwritten in your reading response journal or through Google Docs and shared with your teacher to talk about your reading. Your think mark is designed to help you remember some of the thoughts you have jotted down during the week. I want to refer you to the many different suggestions about what you can write about in your letter to me. Let's look at the guidelines for reading response letters and go over the format. First, I'm going to ask you to remember to write in a letter format and to include the important parts of a friendly letter. So that would include, oh, and here's a example letter that we will be investigating together in a bit. So the parts of a friendly letter, that would include the date, the greeting, the paragraphs, three or more clearly indented. That means there are spaces in between paragraphs. Look at the example to see. There are three distinct paragraphs there in that letter and a closing. Capitalization, beginning of sentences and proper nouns like people's names and specific places, etc. Punctuation, periods, question marks, exclamation points, and the title of the book is either underlined or italicized. Spelling as best as you can. And you get a four if you complete this part and have turned in a neat letter with the elements of what a letter should look like and it's turned in on time. Next, I'm going to write my first paragraph, which includes the title, author, genre, and a few sentences about my book. Tell what the book is about briefly. Don't go into too much detail, but write three to four well-written sentences. And I'm going to give you an example of a response journal letter right here. So let's go ahead and check out this first paragraph. November 24th, 2020, Dear Mrs. Connect, I am reading the fiction book Holes by Lewis Satcher. The book is about a boy named Stanley Yelnats who is accused of stealing a famous sports player's tennis shoes. As his punishment, Stanley is sent away to Camp Green Lake, a rugged boys' detention center on a dried lake bed in the middle of nowhere. The inmates dig holes every day in the hot sun. They know they are looking for something the warden wants really bad, but none of them know what or why. Then I'm going to write a second paragraph that includes one or two of the suggestions below and use my think mark to add any information. Make sure you show that you have thought deeply by writing complete thoughts in complete sentences. Your think mark bookmark will help you recall your mind tracks. And I want you to write three to four well-written sentences. Include any connections, any text to text, text to self, or text to world that you made in your story. Here's an example of a second paragraph with the elements we just discussed. Something that surprised me this week while I was reading was when Stanley discovers zero underneath the boat. He's been living on what he calls sploosh, but I actually predict those are the very same peaches that were canned many years back when kissing Kate Barlow was alive. Since Stanley just ate the last jar, the boys cannot stay under the boat for much longer. I wonder where they will head next, especially because zero is so weak and they are out of water. I can connect with Stanley and Zero because I have been out in the hot sun before without water. It's pretty bad. Finally, I'm going to include a third paragraph that tells my opinion of the book and what I'm thinking about me as a reader. 
tell your teacher for my class, that is Mrs. Connect, something you'd like me to know about your reading this week. Tell your teacher, that's me, Mrs. Connect, your opinion of the book. And tell your teacher where you are in the book. Are you still reading it? What chapter, page number? Are you finished with it? Tell whether or not you would recommend this book to a friend, why or why not. Here's an example of a third paragraph with the elements we just discussed. I am proud of myself for staying on task much better this week. I sat away from noisy distractions that keep me from thinking about the story in my mind. When I got off track, I practiced the stop and reread strategy on page 157. I lost my place in chapter 34, but after rereading the page, I figured out where I had left off. My opinion of the book so far is that it is really well written. It has kept me on the edge of my seat and made me want to read more. I am over halfway through the book on page 160 where chapter 36 starts. I would recommend this book to a friend because it is easy to read, short chapters, and keeps you wanting to read more. The author definitely has not gone where I thought he was going in the story early on. Now that Zero and Stanley are on their own adventure, I really don't know what will happen next. Sincerely, Hank. If time allows, your teacher may read aloud a picture book for you to practice what to be looking for, taking note of, thinking about, and writing on your think mark as you read so that you are super prepared to write a letter like this to your teacher each week about what you are reading. We will follow the guidelines established for the letter. Students can add ideas and information to create a shared writing. Remember, when you are writing a reading reflection, you need to include a letter format, information about your book, your thinking about what you have been reading, and finally, what you will predict will happen and how you are doing as a reader. Students will begin reading from the books that they have selected for independent reading with the goal of 30 to 35 minutes. As you go to your reading spots today, I want you to be aware of when the meaning breaks down for you. Every once in a while, stop and think, what did I just read? If you can't remember, look at the anchor chart in your classroom and see if you can't get yourself back in on the thinking track. Also, remember to stop a couple of times and make a prediction about what might happen next because you will need this to write your reading response letter soon. Students will buzz about their books in book club discussion. One, students will share about the books that they read and predictions they made. Two, students share where in the text they found themselves straying and what they did to refocus their thinking. And three, don't forget to record what you read in your daily reading log.